launching the FE2W network in Paris? We're launching the FE2W network in Paris uh, because we've been invited by UNESCO IHP, the International Hydrological Program. Uh, the UNESCO Chair of Water Economics and Transboundary Water Governance at the Australian National University is the, hosting the Secretariat of the network. Um, UNESCO have, have very kindly invited us to, to, come and, uh, um, to come and launch the network here and provide us with the support to do that. And it's a, really nice, uh, it's a really nice match there because UNESCO does a lot of work in water sciences and is very, very supportive of water sciences and education in the world. Thank you. And why are you yourself involved in the FE2W network? I'm involved in the FE2W network because I think it's time for some action. It's time to get to work. There's a lot of talk about the connections between food, energy, environment, water and the nexus and I think it's really time to, to do something about it and to actually improve people's lives on the ground. So I've been working in the Mekong for the last couple of years and in the field work that I've done there I've seen firsthand the real threats to people's livelihoods and their vulnerability to a whole range of shocks, whether it be man-made shocks like hydropower development and agricultural commercialisation or uh, natural shocks, climate variability, droughts and floods. It's really, really critical at this point in places like the Mekong and other parts of the world that we start to make better decisions, that we start to think about food, energy, environment and water as an integrated system so that we can improve people's lives. So it's time to take action and I'm really, really proud to be part of a group of 40 who are, who are doing that. We're getting to work. It's exciting.